This is a video to look at the reaction between magnesium and copper oxide. It is an example of a metal displacement reaction. It occurs between two solids, magnesium and copper oxide. Copper oxide is a black solid. The reaction between these two solids does not occur until sufficient energy is given to the particles so that they are in sufficiently rapid motion with high enough energy for a chemical reaction to occur. The magnesium is higher in the reactivity series and reacts with the copper oxide to displace the copper. The magnesium becomes magnesium oxide, which is a white powder, and the copper oxide, the black powder, becomes copper, which is the um, uh, red-brown copper coloured solid. The reaction is done in a crucible and uh, the magnesium powder and the copper oxide are intimately linked. First the magnesium, the magnesium powder is placed into the crucible. This is combined with a similar quantity of copper oxide. To show that there is a displacement reaction, at the end of the reaction, I'm going to take the contents or find the contents of the reaction and put them into sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid is capable of dissolving the magnesium, the copper oxide, and the magnesium oxide, the reactants and the potential products. This means that in the sulfuric acid will be left some copper at the end. So at the end of the experiment, I'm going to collect the um, solid that is left and place it into, into the sulfuric acid. The reaction can be exothermic, and so I'll place a safety screen uh, above the, um, between myself and the reaction. It is not an immediate reaction. It takes a little bit of time for energy, the energy of the particles to become um, large enough for the chemical reaction to occur. So there may be some delay before we see any sort of reaction. Okay, so sufficient energy has been given to the particles, and you see that there was a violent exothermic reaction, and there was plenty of light and smoke from that reaction. So 
sulfuric acid. And I'll place the contents, sweep the contents. So any excess magnesium will react with the sulfuric acid to give magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. Any excess copper oxide will react to make copper sulfate and water. If there's any magnesium oxide in the Solids at the end, it reacts with the sulfuric acid to make magnesium sulfate and water. The only thing that doesn't react is some copper. Just leave that to settle for a short while. So you may be able to see already that there are clear signs that We've got a solution that's looking a little blue from perhaps the copper sulfate from excess copper oxide, but the copper is present at the base. I'll make that more clear perhaps as it settles. It contains the crucible pits. There are distinct signs of the ready brown colour of copper that is present in the crucible parts.